to our master of ceremony, Brother David, and officers, members, friends, visitors, citizens of the kingdom of God, and all persons here assembled. I am very elated to have this opportunity to say something about not our guest, but our friend. I want you to hear me clearly this morning. This morning we have here one of the greatest preachers, leaders of all mankind. On the other day, the President of the United States came to your flag state, flagship university. And he said, the President of the United States, George W. Bush. And he went on to say, but we have one here. Amen. Was not voted in by illegal votes out of Florida. Right. He was voted in this capacity by Almighty God. I want you to know that we have been close friends lo these many years. Most black people know our friend as the leader of civil rights movement. But let me say to you, I want to say to you, I know him as getting the job done when there were parades up and down yes. North Boulevard yes. Oh, yes. Yes. with all the white bands yes. and schools, the horses behind them, yes. and we behind the horses. Yes. He broke that up. The horses wasting their food yes. from the other end. We had to walk in it. Yes, it did. My friend broke that up. Yes, it did. Let me say to you that he started a new thing here in our city with the softball league. Mumbling and grumbling by old deacons. We can't do this, we can't do that. Well, I was his picture. He was my showstop. Father Calabar was playing showstop for St. Francis Xavier. And my friend was playing showstop for Mount Zion. All my days I've been playing sport. I used to pitch baseball too with one boot and one shoe. He took me out of that and put me in a Mount Zion suit. Come on now. And the largest crowd that ever play out on terrace in Highland Road was the Baptists and the Catholics. <laughs> and he got such a great crowd to follow. Spooner started charging a quarter to see us play. <laughs> so much for that. Let me come close home. We were in position to build a new church on 13th Street, but the escalation in the price was faster than the monies that we were taking up. This is the man that preached the ground breaking for us and it started raining. We went to Shallow. On our movement here, we had a little misunderstanding with some people who didn't know anything about anything. And we went to Cope, the only black preacher in this city that was sitting by me every time I went to court was my friend. One day we passed by the church on 13th Street and looked in the mailbox and there was a church for sale. And we got it and we brought it to the church and we talked, tried to get Brother Cadiz, but that day he was working. And it was this man and Sister Ida Henderson, and we came up here and looked at it. And we got 
consent from him. What do you think about it, Doctor? He said, well, Pastor, you can't meet the deal. Not only that, when we went to City National Bank, this is the man that negotiated for this property that we now own with Mr. Douglas McElvis. You see, you got to know somebody. And somebody else to know somebody. There's too many of us trying to make it on our own and build our own selves up. But Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let me say to you that a lot of things you hear me say, J.H. Freeman, Gerald Williams. Yes, Lord. And I thank God for those. And there were some others. But we must move on now. When he was elected the president of the National Baptist Convention, USA Incorporated, I had some children going to Mount Zion daycare. And he asked me to come go to Florida and do a prayer. And I had to return him down because Ernestine was working and no one else to see after the church, but I appreciate that. Yes, Lord. An insignificant boy like me at that time. And I just think all he's done. And then on we decided to move up here. His son drove the Thunderbird to ride me and my wife. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it takes a friend to get a friend. <laughs> Then after we got here, he preached that first sermon. Sitting where he is sitting now, and Douglas McElvin, where Minister Dwight said. And he kept me up on everything that was going on in the association and the National Convention. Of course, he let me know how much we had to <laughs> But I tell you, and then there was some grumbling about the old people, how they gonna get ready, how they gonna get up here. Alvin Joe was working at Richard Ford. And the bus, when he stopped his daycare, he turned it over to Richard Ford. And Alvin told me it was for sale, and we bought that. And that shut up some miles. Those who wanted to come came. So we're going on now. The fact, some of them about T.J. Jemison, born in Salem, Alabama. Educated, private, Baptist school in Salem, BS degree, Alabama State University, Master of Divinity, Virginia Union University, Richmond, advanced study in psychology at New York University, and Doctorate of Divinity degree from Virginia University and Mohawks College in Atlanta, Georgia. Community and state work, former member and architect, selection board, state of Louisiana, was part of the past membership of the Reorganization of Commission of Executive Branch of Louisiana, government, charter member of the City Biracial Committee, member of the State's Right, Regulation and Responsibility Commission, a member of the Advisory Board of the Baton Rouge Salvation Army, a trustee and member of East Baton Rouge Finance Authority, and former member of Baton Rouge City Council. Membership in organization and life membership of the NAACP, 33rd degree Prince Hall Mason, Sovereign Grand Inspector General, life member of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, Sigma Phi Fraternity and Frontiers International. Civics, one of the founders of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and served as the first secretary, led the first modern day bus stop in the South in 1953 in Baton Rouge, was selected as the citizen of the year of Baton Rouge for two consecutive years, 1953 and 1954, for outstanding contribution in civics, recreation, education, and religion. Awards were selected to who, who in America first in 1957, and again in 1962, 1967, and in 1978. Selected to who who's in South and the Southwest in 1970. Selected as the outstanding alumnus of Alabama State University in the field of religion, received the Ebony Achievement Award 
in the field of religion in 1983. World Traveler has been in every major city in the nation and the world, has preached in many foreign countries, addressed the student body of the University of Liberia, and was made a life member of the Liberia Baptist and Education Convention Incorporated. Religion, Pastor Emeritus of the Mount Zion, First Baptist Church, he was in Mount Zion in Staten, Virginia. My sisters and my brothers, a member of the Executive Board of the National Council of Churches in the United States, member of the World Council of Churches. President Emeritus, President of the Louisiana Baptist State Convention. President Emeritus, President of the National Baptist Convention, USA Incorporated and Vice President of the Baptist World Alliance. My sisters and my brothers, the man who has done so much for this world, a man who has done so much for Macedonia, and it was a great pleasure for to hear our chairman of this program decided that we was going to get the Reverend Dr. T.J. Jones. My sisters and my brothers, following this song, my friend, your friend, my brother and your brother, a citizen of the kingdom of God, has passed uh, Mount Zion First Baptist Church. 55 years. And then playing where he played on my softball team, he saved a lot of hits off of me by diving in the ground, getting that ball, throwing it to the first base. Sisters and my brothers, following this solo, the next voyage you will hear will be God's man, our friend and our brother, yes. the Reverend Doctor T. J. Jimerson. And his mercy 
is everlasting. And it endureth through all generations. Yes, sir. I want to share with you briefly, because you don't have to be a long time to get it over. I want to share with you the certainty of belief on this men's day. Yes, all right. The certainty of belief. I know him, said Paul, as he wrote to Timothy. I know him in whom I have believed. All right. And I am persuaded that he is able uh -huh. to keep that which I have committed unto his hand until that day. And that day will surely come. Yes. Nothing like knowing the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself. Amen. Oh, you can go to school and know all about Chancellor's Canterbury Tale. <laughs> know all about Milton's Paradise Law. Yeah. But there is nothing like knowing what the Lord has to say. And he says, He that believeth in me shall never die. Oh, you might live on for a long time, but when the time comes for you to die, you don't really die, you go home. Yes, and one of the joys of being a child of God, God knows where you are. Yes, I'm glad I know him. Yes, and I'm glad that he knows me. Yes, and that I can abide in his might. Yes, no matter how dark the cloud gets. There is a sunshine somewhere. And you know, God knows where you are. He knows the contents of your heart. And if you trust in Him, you'll never die. You just go home. But you live on and on. For he that loves the Lord will live on in his name. Oh, yes. oh, it's a joy to know the Lord. Yes, sir. And then when you know him, you know how to treat me. Yes. And I know how to treat you. Yes, Every child of God yes, ought to be able to love his enemy. Yes. Do good to them who despite for the human. Walk in his mercy. Walk in his way. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Oh, I'm so glad I know him, aren't you? Yes, sir. When you know him, it makes a difference in your life. Yes, sir. You can give yourself over to him. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Well, for instance, uh, stand up, young man. As he stands there, uh -huh. he sat on that pew. Uh -huh. He didn't know that it would hold him. But because he had faith in it, yes. he sat. Yes. Yes. And when you have faith in God, All right. God will lift you up. Yes. Stand you on your feet yes. and tell you to roll on a little while longer. Yes. All you have to do is trust him. Yes. Trust in the Lord. Yes. 
and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be free. Yes, sir. Here I am this morning in Macedonia. Yes. The pastor of this church, the Reverend David Newman. Yes. And some years ago, All right. I never thought that I'd be preaching in the church that he is the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> because I got him uh -huh. to preach and to lead my soul for Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Isn't God good? Yeah. Yeah. And all you have to do is to trust him. Yeah. He'll make a way for you. Who yeah. 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 would have thought that T.J. Jefferson, after pastoring Mount Zion, the first Baptist church, yeah. building the church on East Boulevard, yeah. Yeah. And going down the whole block, yeah. Yeah. that I'd be in Macedonia. He watch over us? Yes. Doesn't he walk with us? Yes. No matter how dark it gets, he turns on the light. Yes. Oh, the Lord will, will. make a way. Yes. And you know, worry, worry about him making the way. The way is already made. Yes, and all you have to do is to walk oh, there in. Trust yes. in the Lord.
Is writer uh, in the New Testament? Yeah. Paul? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Timothy? Yeah. All right, yeah. But I want to tell you, it's nothing like knowing the Lord for yourself. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You can read yeah, what they have to say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank God yeah. for the Word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How great it is. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's better, better when you know it. Yeah. I have been to the water. Yeah. Been to the pool. Yeah. And been baptized. Yeah. And I know the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord knows me. Yeah. That's the glory, glory of being a child of God. Yeah. No matter how dark yeah. it is. Right. Yeah. No matter how heavy. Yeah. Yeah. He will turn on the light. Yeah. Has he ever turned the light on in your heart? Yeah. I know he has in mind. Yeah. He has turned on me in your life. Yeah. In mind. Yeah. He has helped to lift the load in my life. Yeah. Yeah. You trust him. Trust him. Trust him. He will. Yes, he will. Bring you through. Yes, he will.
when we talked on last evening and about this morning. And he said, but pastor, that's kind of early to get up. I said, yeah, the devil's still asleep. <laughs> We're so grateful. And we pray that the Lord will continue to extend his life and he continue to stay on the wall. And uh, Dr. Jefferson, I used to sing when I was young, oh, precious Lord, take my hand. I changed that song now. Now I'm growing old and feeble. Stand by me. Let us continue to do all that we can, and the Lord is going to bless us. I say to each of you, we're so grateful for your presence here. And let's tell the world what time we've had. And to Brother, yes sir? I've got to tell you that in my birthday, my last birthday, I was 85. <laughs> But listen at this. That's young. That's when God called Moses to start preaching at any time. Praise the Lord. We're just so grateful. And let us continue to do all that we can while we can.